welcome back to my channel, Sticker Designs by Mel. I'm Melanie. <clears throat> now, I have a nice little fancy setup here for you, just to give you a quick idea of what we're doing today. Now, it has been quite some time since I've pulled out my savings challenges, my cash envelopes, and all the things. So, um, quick story before I kind of open everything. I emptied out all of my cash envelopes quite some time ago. Um, we ended up having some car trouble. Um, long story short, I paid for repairs, but it wasn't enough, and I ended up having to trade it in for a new car. So that money is gone. So a lot of the money, actually all of the money that was in these envelopes is all gone. So we're starting our envelopes back from scratch. I have added mystery challenges on my website, so I will be adding this to my savings challenges and I have a very little bit of money to start putting back into these envelopes. So that's what we're doing today. At least that's what I'm hoping. So um, let me show you. So I have, if I remember correctly, it was 145. So I'm just gonna count it. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 45. Yeah, so 145 is the amount of money I have that I can start putting away in my cash envelopes. So um, I have my budget planner here because I do need to um, add in my sinking funds um, sticker and everything so we can keep track. I also have my jar of coins. I have added some coins in here since the last time we updated that tracker and I have a very old $5 bill in there. Um, so I am going to go through this and count what's in here and update that tracker. So a lot of updating today essentially. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to get started. So First, before I can start putting these in all of the other envelopes, I do have, so at the back here, I have my kids envelope, and I have a payday challenge and a 52-week challenge envelope. Um, clearly, I have not done these, and I'm not going to start them right now. The, I am going to restart them, even though it's not a new year, but it is a new school year, so it kind of goes. So I am going to restart these, um, but not today. I am, however, going to start the mystery challenge. So I pulled out my low level mystery challenge card and low level means it has lower denominations. So anywhere between, I think it was $1 and what was it? $20, I think it was. So I have that. I also have it available in a um, mid-level, which would be 10 to $25, and a high level, which is um, 10 to 50, I believe. So I am just going to start with the low level because the budget is kind of tight lately, and I have papers trying to fall down all over the place over there. So basically how this challenge works is there are scratch off spots. So I'm just going to pick a spot. I'm going to grab a paper clip because I don't have anything else to kind of scratch with. So I'm going to pick a spot. Uh, let's go here. And whatever is underneath this spot is what I am going to put in that envelope. And it is $20, of course. So it would be the biggest amount. So $20 is what I'm saving in my mystery challenge. So I'm going to go 10, 15, 20. So here we go. We have started the mystery challenge, which I am excited about. I am excited to start saving again. It has been way too long. So I'll put this one at the front here, the front of these ones. And I just totally messed up my nail polish. Oh, well. All right, so we'll do that. No, these are not on the rings properly. Okay, now this card does not fit in the envelope, sadly. Wish I could have made it fit. I'm just going to go ahead and put it right there, and then I can pull it out when I need it. So now that we know we've pulled out $20 from here, we're now left with $125. We're going to go ahead and set up our sinking funds stickers 
in our budget planner. So let's see. Sinking funds and the washi. So we'll do that. And these, I'm going to move this over because it keeps wanting to fall on top of my filming section. And I don't know why. So we'll just make it easy and move it. So in the planner, so I have my paycheck budgets. I'm going to go ahead and put the sinking funds right here. I will be doing a debt update, and I will probably put that on this side. But I thought I would put the sinking funds over here. And obviously with $125, I can't cover all of my sinking funds. Um, but at least I can start putting something away. So that's the encouraging part, right? Oh. All right. So I'm just going to put these strips on and then we can start looking at what envelopes I have. The cash envelopes that I have available for my sinking funds. And then we can start deciding what we're going to put away there. Um, based on what's coming up, what's important, you know, all the things. So I'm just putting this strip right at the bottom, even though I know I won't need this whole page. At least it is there. So let's look at the cash envelopes we have. So first, oh, I should probably draw lines, right? Once again, I can't find my clear ruler that goes in this planner. That's okay. Let me just draw these lines really quickly. I'm not going to be fancy about it. Hopefully they're somewhat straight. I feel like that's going crooked, but I'm going to deal. So like I said, all of the cash envelopes are starting at zero. Yeah, that was crooked. Oh well. So all the cash envelopes are starting at zero. All the sinking funds are at zero. So let's look at what we have. So first we have anniversary. Um, our anniversary is passed. It was July 7th. We celebrated our 15th wedding anniversary. So I'm going to not worry about that right now. Uh, birthdays. So tomorrow is our oldest daughter's birthday. And then we don't have another birthday um, for our kids until March. So I'm going to wait to save up for birthdays. CAA membership. I know that... Oh, I have something... Oh, it's the shaving from the scratch off. Okay. Uh, CAA membership. I know that my membership is due in December. So CAA membership starting at zero. Now, if I look at my card, it cost me $120 last time. So I know I need to save $120. So Let's just go ahead and put in $20 this time. And then that will be our balance for this month. Because we're almost at the end of August anyway. So today is what? The 21st. So 2108. Deposit 20. And I'm not at $10. I am now at $20. So 5, 10, 15, 20. There we go. Oh, I forgot I'm not supposed to write. Okay. See, that's how long it's been. I forgot that I'm not supposed to write on my planner. Anyways, whatever. Okay, Christmas is a big one. Definitely need to stuff the Christmas envelope, but I'm going to wait to see what else I have. And then I can go back and add to Christmas. Clothing. I'm not going to add anything to clothing. Both of my older children have their uniform for school, so they don't need clothes for school. And our youngest does, but I'm going to wait a little bit um, to get that. So I'm not going to put anything here yet. The CNE, I don't know if we're going yet this year, but I'm not going to save up for that. Maybe for next year. Competitions and costumes, I'm, again, not worried about that right now. Easter, no. Family photos. So I did just book our family photos. And that is going to cost us, if I remember correctly, was $130. So I'm starting with zero. So I will put in $20. 
to get us started. The photos will be in um, November, so I have some time. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20. So I'm going to cross this out since we are no longer at $20, 2108. Deposit $20. Our balance is $20. There we go. So that is family photos. All done. And these are all cash envelopes that I made, by the way. I have these kind of cash envelopes available on my website that are like the cardstock and laminated, either hole punched or not. And then I also have the vinyl cash envelopes um, in this style that has the zipper. And I have another style. I don't, oh, I showed it, the Christmas one. So I have this one and like the birthday one. It's um, vinyl, but you can see through it. So if you're interested in cash envelopes, they're on my website. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Okay, Halloween is coming. Definitely going to need to start saving for Halloween. Now, our son is 14. He no longer wants to dress up for Halloween, which I'm okay with. Um, but the girls do. So I'm going to put $20 there as well. So it seems like 20 is the pattern. So 5, 10, 15, 20. So again, cross that out. So 2108, deposit $20, and our balance is $20. You can see I just, when I needed the money, I just pulled everything out. I didn't even cross out the amounts on the cards, nothing. So, and these cash envelope trackers are also available on my website if you're interested. Uh, medical, not adding anything there. Savings, I could add something, but not yet. School, I don't know if I'm going to need anything for school. I might just skip that for now. Spending, I'm going to skip. Thanksgiving and uh, vacation. Yeah, so Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, we are going to spend it here at home. We are not going to go back to my hometown. My parents are no longer there, of course. And um, my sister apparently has plans with her husband's family. So we are going to have Thanksgiving by ourselves, which I'm okay with. So 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to put in 20 here. So 2108, deposit. 20 and our balance is 20. So we are on our way to saving, which is good. All these little amounts are anything we don't have to spend later, so I'm good with that. Let's see what's left 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 45 left. I still have vacation and I have, uh, uh, don't I have savings? right here. Savings. Um, I do want to put more towards savings. Now, good thing is we have our thousand dollars emergency fund. That's done. Our baby emergency fund is done. If you follow Dave Ramsey, the first thousand dollars is your baby emergency fund. We have it. So I'm not stressed. So I might just go ahead and skip this for now and put the last 45 in the Christmas envelope. Because, as you all know, Christmas is a big ticket item. So we need to make sure we have the money there for the kids at Christmas. So I'm depositing 45 which is a small start, but a start anyway. So Christmas, start at zero, add 45 and balance is 45. Now, if anything changes from now until the end of the month, if I do end up getting any extra funds from anything and I want to add, then I will probably go ahead and add and do another video. But for now, I think that's where we are at in terms of our cash envelope. So at least we are off to a good start. Again, not huge amounts of money, but like I said, any amount of money is better than nothing, right? 
Okay, now we go, if you remember, at the back of my planner, at the end of December, I put my savings tracker, and this was the change jar that I have right here. So the last time I checked in was in May, and in May we had $37.75, and that was essentially change that I was keeping in my wallet. So whenever I went to pay for anything, if I was given back a loonie, a toonie, or a quarter, I kept it. I didn't spend it, and then that's what I added to the jar. Now, June and July and most of August, I have not been using a lot of cash, so I didn't have a lot to deposit there, but I know I did add some to the jar. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is count what's in that jar, and then I will put it as the August total, and then we have to color this in because... Apparently, I forgot the whole part about coloring in the jar. So let me go ahead and I'm going to empty this out and count it. And then we can come back and discuss. So first, let me just show you for anyone who is new to my channel, anyone who is new to Canadian money. So not the cleanest, but so this is a toonie. What we call a toonie, it's a $2 coin. So it has the gold center and the silver exterior. So we know that's a $2 coin. This is our loony. So that's our $1 coin, golden color. And then our quarter. Most countries, I believe, have quarters. So nothing new there. So this is what I will count. And then I will come back and give you the total. All right, so everything is back in the jar. And we had our even total of $158. So I was using this pen last time, but it has stopped working. So I wonder if I have my other pens. I don't think I do. So what I might do is maybe put it in a purple. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I have my purple here. So I'm going to put, beside August, I'm going to put that we are at $158. That's our total. So that means in the last three months or so, so we were at $128.25, we have brought in $29.75. So we're not quite at the level we need to be to reach our goal of $350, but that was a goal I set when I saw that I was bringing in about $30 at least per month. So when I stopped spending with cash, that kind of affected my whole thing. So yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. Maybe we could make this another kind of savings. We'll see, but I will probably try to spend more with cash moving forward. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my favorite mild liner in this, I want to say it's like an orangey red, and I'm going to color in this section of the jar, and then we will be good. All right, so there we go. We have our jar colored in. We are about halfway, just more than halfway. So we have four months left to hopefully get about $200. Can we do it? It's about $50 per month. I don't know, but I'm going to try. So now that we've done our change jar, we did our cash envelopes. I think we are pretty much set for today. So hopefully I will be able to come back and do more savings challenges, but I hope you enjoyed seeing kind of how I'm getting back at things or back to things. I should say it's late. 
I can't even, we've had a lot of power outages today because there's been a storm, so it took me forever to be able to film this. So that's it for me for today. Leave me a comment down below. How is your savings journey going? Have you been able to save money? What kind of challenges are you doing? All the cool things. I would love to hear from all of you. Um, but that's it for me for today. I will see you.